Our presence in Montenegro uh, uh, is traditionally a very positive presence. I think, uh, from my perspective, I've seen a very positive evolution in Montenegro, and I am uh, uh, working very closely with uh, uh, colleagues in the European Union and uh, in the Atlantic institution concerning uh, issues of uh, progressive integration of the whole region uh, in, in these institutions. And, uh, uh, and of course, uh, the role of the OSC is to help uh, countries develop their democratic institutions and develop them in a way that will make it easier for them to integrate themselves better in the international community, including the, uh, the Euro-Atlantic institutions. Montenegro in particular, I think, has been doing quite some good progress in this, in this direction. I have uh, uh, to congratulate uh, the, the leadership of, uh, of Montenegro for moving the country uh, so well forward. And I know uh, uh, that the path is, is there. It, of course, it's the decision of Montenegro. It's not an issue on which I can pass a judgment, uh, but it seems to me uh, all in all to be a positive uh, movement in a positive direction, and we are uh, now discussing the details of this uh, with the European Union in particular and with Commissioner Fule uh, to make sure that our contribution is in line with the strategic expectations of uh, the Montenegrin government and the Montenegrin people. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what benefits can such meetings bring to the region? I think we have reached a, a stage in Southeast Europe where uh, we all need uh, to work better together. Mm -hmm. uh, so building partnerships um, uh, and building synergies uh, among the work of the different uh, international institutions and, uh, and uh, uh, pushing governments uh, to work more together. Mm -hmm. Of course, we know that there are a number of uh, political issues that are still out there. There are processes, and look at Kosovo and the role of the European Union in the dialogue between uh, uh, Belgrade and Pristina. I think that is a very uh, positive uh, role that the European Union has been playing. The OSCE is very supportive. We still have a very strong presence on the ground as, uh, as the OSCE. If you look at our field operations, 60% of the budget mm -hmm. goes to Southeast Europe. And so it remains an area still of strong commitment for us. So it is important for us that this is backed uh, by uh, a strong effort from the countries of the region to work better together. Initiatives like the one we see here today, and I think it's a very positive step that the Slovenian uh, government has taken to, uh, uh, to push uh, ahead in this, in this process, uh, are important uh, to uh, maximize the effectiveness of our efforts. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the last incidents in Kosovo? Well, it's, it's worrying, of course. Uh, but the OSC is engaging in Kosovo. It's our largest field, op field operation. Uh, we are working now at the challenge of the upcoming municipal elections. Uh, uh, we have a strong focus on the north. I, I know the north well. I, I, I was uh, operating in Kosovo with the United Nations until uh, just before I took uh, the, the OSC job. Uh, I think the people in north Kosovo uh, have to develop also a vision for their own future. They cannot remain in a situation of, uh, of isolation. Mm -hmm. And if they push for a line of isolation, this will isolate them even from Belgrade. Mm -hmm. I think now Belgrade and Pristina are moving ahead. Uh, the north must move also in the same direction. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, what I see is that the international community, also in the OSC, from uh, uh, every side, uh, from the United States, the European Union, Russia, Turkey, they're all supportive. Of, uh, of this process, the role that the OSC plays, uh, uh, plays and I, I hope that the people on the ground will see this opportunity of uh, looking beyond uh, the, the immediate situation, looking at their long-term future, of, uh, at the future of their children, and do engage in these processes, and we are offering them an opportunity for this, uh, for this engagement. And I hope that incidents like the one we saw uh, with the uh, with ULEX uh, will not be repeated in future. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.